Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here and today is an exciting day for some of you because today I'm starting another triop series. So um, this is something a few of you have been asking for and uh, I've just ordered some eggs which <sighs> I lost again. <laughs> here they are. So I just ordered some triops eggs online. These are triops cankriformis. There are 75 eggs in there, believe it or not. So I'm going to show you how to grow your own triops and um, these rules can in general be applied to all the triops even though they do have different temperature requirements so make sure you research your appropriate species. Um, triops cankriformis is the species that can do well in the coldest water which is why I chose it because I don't want to buy a heater. Um, so triops cankriformis um, does well in water that's about 20 degrees Celsius which in the summer is room temperature so that's why I chose them because it's summer it's room temperature I won't need to buy either so um, what do you need well for to begin with them it's very very simple um, you need your eggs which you already saw you need some distilled water so buy yourself some distilled water um, to hatch a triops. Later on you can put them in tap water when they're adults but um, for babies you want distilled water because there's a least chance there's anything um, anything chemically in there that can harm the triops eggs or the little baby triops so that's why you want to get distilled water. You want to have a little container to hatch them in so um, I have this little glass container and um, you want to have a little bit of carrot so you can see the little carrot in there um, it's not going to stay that big. I'm going to cut little pieces of it. Um, so what you're going to do, the first step, is to take a little carrot, which I've already washed. So this is washed and it's all the peel is taken off. So um, again, that reduces the chance of any chemicals like fertilizers, cow dung, that sort of stuff to go into the water. So I took off all the peel and I'm just going to scrape off tiny little pieces of the carrot with a knife. like really small pieces so like I don't know if you saw that but that small of a piece and put that in there and I'm gonna do that a couple times so a couple small pieces and um, that's gonna provide the triops the baby triops um, nutrients during the first couple days because distilled water there's nothing in there right it's it's literally just evaporated water so it's the purest form of water but that means that there's nothing in there that the little triops are gonna be able to eat so um taking the little bits of carrots off, which is just what I'm doing right now, um, we'll provide the little baby triops with um, some food that, yeah, so that's why you're doing that. Um, yeah, so almost done here. Got a little scraped pieces of carrot in there. So your container doesn't need to be very large. Um, it should be clear and you shouldn't have a lid for it. So small containers are actually better because it means that the triops won't get lost and it's going to be easier to feed them. So I have my little container. Now all I got to do is fill in some distilled water. So grab my distilled water. I'm going to be careful not to spill it on the desk because that's where the triops eggs are. So I'm just going to fill that up with some distilled water. All right, here we go. It's filled up. Um, and now all I got to do is add the triops eggs. So obviously I'm not going to add all 75 of them. I don't want to have like, if it's a really bad turnout, 25 triops here. I only want to have a couple. So I'm probably going to add around 10 eggs. Um, I want to take these to Canada and um, actually breed them in Canada, have them lay eggs. So I have a steady supply of eggs myself. So I'm definitely not going to use all of them. So I'm just going to use about 10 eggs and I'm going to put them in the water. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, so to add triops eggs, um, usually when you buy them in the kit, they don't necessarily come in the plastic bag. They come in a little tub and you don't really want to add all of them right away because you want to be able to do it more than once, right? So to add them, just uh, take a little toothpick and um, scoop out the eggs individually. That way you'll know exactly how many you're using. Usually kits come with something like 20, 25 eggs. So just use a toothpick, use half the eggs, that way you can do it twice. And um, the triops will lay their own eggs later on. So um, you might not even use, need to use the second amount of eggs. So I'm just gonna add, a, I think I said 10 eggs, around that anyway. And uh, then I'll show you what the finished thing looks like. So I've added the 12 eggs. Um, you can see them floating on the surface of the water there. 
And now all you have to do is provide them with light 24 hours a day. So I'm going to have a little light shining on the container the whole day long. And we should see your first hatchlings tomorrow. Thank you for watching this. Um, I hope we're successful with breeding these triops. I don't think we shouldn't be. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys with another update probably tomorrow or two days from now depending on when we have hatchlings. Again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.